A Sex Verse in the Bible Guide Chapter 1 Sex Passages in the Bible Sex in the Bible 1 Adam and Eve were the first couple according to the Bible. Adam had no experience. God made him a companion woman. She was tempted by something evil to do something forbidden then she got Adam to do it too, eat the apple which represented going beyond what they were told to do to explore life and find knowledge on their own. It's all symbolic. It's a way to keep people down. I'm not against God. I believe in God. I'm against the people who wrote the Bible as the silly book much of it is to use religion to control people. The idea is to be obedient and list to the rules which goes against our natural curiosity as human beings. You can believe in God and not the Bible which is what I do. I believe in a creator that wants me to do good. I believe in life after death. I think many stories in the Bible are mythology. They had two sons Cain and Abel. They either went looking for women in other villages or they had sex with their sisters which is a contradiction if Adam and Eve were first and there no other people around. The people were getting too gay and sexually promiscuous in Sodom and Gomorrah so God dropped some kind of nuclear bomb on them. Abraham's wife couldn't conceive so his servant had a kid for him. In 2 Samuel 13 colon 13 37 15 colon 12, Amnon rapes Tamar then Absalom wanted vengeance for the rape of his sister so he killed him. King Solomon was supposedly the wisest man in the world. He had a total of 1,500 wives and half-wives, concubines, but he was smitten by the Queen of Sheba and wrote the book Song of Solomon or Song of Songs as a tribute to her so he was a depraved slut who fell in love at least once. The whole Bible is basically about how evil and carnal the human being is by nature. Good people learn to control their evil instincts. Bad people become vain, arrogant, and focused on sex. The Garden of Eden is that tract of land where the Euphrates and Tigris separate. Genesis 6 says Tha the sons of God took unto them wives of the daughters of men because they were fair and these matches produced giants and other incurably wicked offspring. They all had to killed. Noah, his wife, his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japhe and their wives, eight persons in all, were the only human beings to be saved after the flood. Noah broke it all the beasts, birds, and insects all together in his ark to save them to repopulate the earth. The Bible does not talk about masturbation at all. Onanism refers to birth control which is to withdraw the penis to avoid pregnancy during intercourse. Somebody said the Bible or the Old Testament never mentions that we should marry and be monogamous. It just says don't commit adultery which is to have sex with someone else's spouse. The devil represents evil and lust. Somehow lust is made evil if it goes too far because it causes diseases, people rape each other and society breaks down so the Bible gives us common sense knowledge to have standards of civility and privacy. Don't rape people. Don't proposition people for sex in a crude way. Be private about it. You also took the fine jewelry I gave you, the jewelry made of my gold and silver and you made for yourself male idols and engaged in prostitution with them. Ezekiel 16:17. If two men, a man, and his countrymen, are struggling together and the wife of one comes near to deliver her husband from the hand of the one who is striking him and puts out her hand and seizes his genitals, then you shall cut off her hand, you shall not show pity. Deuteronomy 25 11-12 When she carried on her whoring so openly and flaunted her nakedness, I turned in disgust from her, as I had turned in disgust from her sister. Yet she increased her whoring, remembering the days of her youth, when she played the whore in the land of Egypt and lusted after her lovers there, whose members were like those of donkeys and whose issue was like that of horses. Thus you longed for the lewdness of your youth, when the Egyptians handled your bosom and pressed your young breasts. Ezekiel 23,18-21 Sex in the Bible 2 Sex occurs frequently in the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament, with extensive laws regulating it. The modern Christian view of sexuality is spelled out in 1 Corinthians 7 by St. Paul, that sex between a man and his wife are good but anything outside of that is not. Genesis 2, 24 forms the basis for monogamy. Matthew 5, 
27 to 28 and 15, 1 to 20 says it's what's in the heart that counts. Sinful lust is just as bad as if you had done it. 2 Samuel 11, 2, Job 31, 1, 1 Thessalonians 4, 5, 7, Romans 1, 24, 6, 19, 7, 7, 8, 6, 13, 9, Titus 3, 3, Galatians 5, 19, Corinthians 12, 21, 2 Corinthians 6, 9-10, 12, 21, Ephesians 4, 19 all basically support the champion of purities, inner morality, viewpoint, St. Paul who said that purity was union with God and with one spouse. Lustful passion for anything else was sinful and had to be controlled. If you want to know what's forbidden, read chapter 18 and 20 of the book of Leviticus. Adultery was prohibited in the Jewish men but only with Jewish women not Gentile women so men wanted their cake and to eat it too saying it was permissible to sleep with foreign women not of their race. Some passages in the Bible that deal with adultery are Exodus 20, 14, 17, 22, 15 to 16, Deuteronomy 5, 18, 21, 22, 22, 28 to 29, Ezekiel 16, 40. Sexual uncleanliness in the Bible seems to be the early warning for modern day sexually transmitted diseases, Leviticus 15, 18, 25, 28, 19, 29, 2013, Numbers 5, 3, Deuteronomy 24, 4, Jeremiah 3, 2, 9. Here are a few snippets from Leviticus 15. When any man has a discharge from his penis, the discharge is unclean whether the penis runs with it or is stopped by it. Any bed on which he sits or lies is unclean. Anyone who touches his bed or sits on anything the man has sat on must wash his clothes and take a bath and he remains unclean until evening. Leviticus 15, 2-7 After sexual intercourse, both the man and the woman must take a bath and they remain unclean until the evening. Leviticus 15, 18 Leviticus 20.10 prescribes the death penalty for adultery. Leviticus 20.14 prescribes the penalty of being burnt alive for having a three-way with one's wife and mother-in-law. Leviticus 20.15 declares, And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. When a woman has her monthly period, she remains unclean for seven days. Leviticus 15.19 Nakedness Exposure of the sex organs, is shameful, Genesis 9, 21-23, 2 Samuel 6, 20, 10, 4. I saw 20, 2-4, I saw 47, 3. Deformed sex organs are shameful, Deuteronomy 23, 2, Leviticus 21, 20. Women were forbidden to wear men's clothes and men forbidden to wear women's clothes, Deuteronomy 22, 5-11. Incest was taboo, Deuteronomy 23, 3, 27, 23, Leviticus 18, 6-16. Deuteronomy 23, 18 forbids prostitution. Proverbs 2, 1, 6, 23-35, 7, 1-27, 9, 13-18, Romans 1, 24, Galatians 5, 19, Ephesians 5, 3, 5, Colossians 3, 5, 1 Thessalonians 4, 3, 1 Corinthians 5 to 6, 2 Corinthians 12, 21, Mark 10, 10 to 12 are all anti-adultery and anti-prostitution. Jesus was egalitarian with women, Mark 10, 2, Luke 8, 2, 7, 11 to 17, 10, 38 to 42, and anti-divorce, Mark 10, 2 to 12, Matthew 5, 31 to 32, 19, 3 to 9, Luke 16, 18, except if a man found out something indecent about his wife, Deuteronomy 24, 1. You shall not commit adultery. Exodus 20:14. It is God's will that you should be sanctified. 
that you should avoid sexual immorality. That each of you should learn to control his own body in a way that is holy and honorable. Not in passionate lust for God did not call us to be impure but to live a holy life. 1 Thessalonians 4 3 7. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the cravings of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away and all its lusts, but he who does the will of God abides forever. 1 John 2 15-17 now, it is actually being said that there is sexual immorality among you so terrible that not even the heathen would be guilty of it. I am told that a man is sleeping with his stepmother. How, then, can you be proud? On the contrary, you should be filled with sadness and the man who has done such a thing should be expelled from your fellowship. And even though I am far away from you in body, still I am there with you in spirit, and as though I were there with you, I have in the name of our Lord Jesus already passed judgment on the man who has done this terrible thing. As you meet together and I meet with you in my spirit, by the power of our Lord Jesus present with us, you are to hand this man over to Satan for his body to be destroyed, so that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 5 1-5 This is the will of God, your sanctification, so that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you should know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the lusts of immorality, like the pagans who do not know God, that no man go beyond and exploit his brother in any way, because the Lord is the avenger in all these things, just as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God has not called us to uncleanness, but to holiness. 1 Thessalonians 4 3 7. Do not fool yourselves people who are immoral or who worship idols or are adulterers or homosexual perverts or who steal or are greedy or are drunkards or who slander others or are thieves none of these will possess God's kingdom. Some of you were like that. But you have been purified from sin, you have been dedicated to God, you have been put right with God by the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. 1 Corinthians 6 9-11 You that are given to pleasures, that dwell carelessly, that say in your heart, I am and there is no one else, I shall not be a widow, nor shall I know the loss of children but these two things shall come to you in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon you in full measure for the multitude of your sorceries and for the abundance of your enchantments. For you have trusted in your wickedness, you have said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge have perverted you and you have said in your heart, I am and no one else beside me. But disaster shall come upon you, you shall not know from whence it came and calamity shall fall upon you. Isaiah 47 8-11 Let us walk honestly, as in the daylight, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in quarreling and jealousy but put you on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the sinful nature, to fulfill its lusts. Romans 13 13-14 You were taught to put away your former way of life, the old man, which is corrupt and deluded by its lusts and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds. Ephesians 4 18-22 In the past we ourselves were foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hated and hating one another. But after that the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared. Titus 3 4 In the past you already spent enough time doing as the pagans do, walking in debauchery, lusts, excess of wine, orgies, carousing and abominable idolatries. They think it strange that you no longer join with them to the same excess of dissipation, so they speak evil of you. They shall give account to him that is ready to judge the living and the dead. 1 Peter 4 3 5. Avoid immorality. Any other sin a man commits does not affect his body, but the man who is guilty of sexual immorality sins against his own body. Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, 
who lives in you and who was given to you by God. You do not belong to yourselves but to God, he bought you for a price. So use your bodies for God's glory. 1 Corinthians 6,18-20 You cannot say that our physical body was made for sexual promiscuity, it was made for the Lord and in the Lord is the answer to its needs. 1 Corinthians 6, 13 Sex in the Bible 3 But since there is so much immorality, each man should have his own wife and each woman her own husband. The husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife and likewise, the wife to her husband. The wife's body does not belong to her alone but also to her husband. In the same way, the husband's body does not belong to him alone but to his wife. Do not deprive each other except by mutual consent and for a time so that you may devote yourselves to prayer. Then come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. 1 Corinthians 7,2-5 Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness. Galatians 5:19. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, teaching us to renounce ungodliness and worldly lusts and in this present age to live soberly, righteously, and godly, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Titus 2, 12-13. Now the works of the sinful nature are obvious, which are these, adultery, fornication, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, carousing and the like. I warn you, as I have also told you in the past, so that those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5 19-21 Denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Titus 2.12 You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do you think it is for nothing that the scripture says, he yearns jealously for the spirit that he has made to dwell in us? But he gives more grace, Therefore as the scripture says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. James 4 6 They are envious, get drunk, have orgies and do other things like these. I warn you now as I have before, those who do these things will not possess the kingdom of God. But the Spirit produces love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. Galatians 5 21-23 Better what the eyes see than the wandering of desire, this is also meaningless, a chasing after the wind. Ecclesiastes 6 9 By means of a whorish woman a man is reduced to a piece of bread and the adulteress will prey on your precious life. Proverbs 6 26 A whore is a deep ditch and a wayward woman is a narrow well. Proverbs 23 27 Whoever loves wisdom rejoices his father, but he who keeps company with prostitutes wastes his substance. Proverbs 29,3 Those things which come from the mouth come forth from the heart and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. Matthew 15,17-19 from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, debauchery, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Mark 7,21-23 All that is in the world, the cravings of the sinful nature and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he who does the will of God abides forever. 1 John 2 16-17 Avoid foolish and senseless controversies. Knowing that they breed quarrels. 
and the servant of the Lord must not be quarrelsome, but must be gentle to all men, an apt teacher. Patient, gently instructing his opponents. 2 Timothy 2 23-25 Where do these conflicts and disputes among you arise from? Do they not come from your cravings that war within you? You crave and have not, so you kill. You desire to have and cannot obtain, so you fight and war. You have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not, because you ask wrongly, that you may spend it upon your pleasures. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. James 4 1-4 When they speak empty and boastful words. They entice through the immoral lusts of the sinful nature those who have just escaped from those who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the slaves of corruption. For a man is a slave to whatever has mastered him. Peter 2 12-19 In the past you spent enough time doing as the pagans do, walking in debauchery, lusts, excess of wine, orgies, carousing and abominable idolatries. They think it strange that you no longer join with them to the same excess of dissipation, so they speak evil of you. They shall give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. 1 Peter 4,3-5 He that loves pleasure shall be a poor man, he who loves wine and oil shall not be rich. Proverbs 21:17. Whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. Hosea 4:11. Who has redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine. Look not upon the wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly. At the last it bites like a serpent and stings like an adder. Sex in the Bible 4 Your eyes shall behold strange women and your heart shall utter perverse things. Yes, you shall be like one bat who lies down in the midst of the sea, or as he who lies upon the top of a mast. They have struck me, you shall say, and I was not sick. They have beaten me and I felt it not. When shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. Proverbs 23 30 35 Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in debauchery and immorality, not in strife and envying. Romans 13 13 Therefore God gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. God gave them up to vile affections, for even their women exchanged the natural use into what is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust toward one another, men with men doing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the appropriate recompense for their error. And just as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a depraved mind, to do those things which should never be done. Romans 1 24 28. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The carnal mind is hostile toward God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither can be. Romans 8 6-9 I wrote to you in a letter not to keep company with the sexually immoral not referring to the immoral of this world, or the covetous, or swindlers, or idolaters, since you would then have to leave the world. But now I write to you not to keep company with any man that is called a brother, if he be sexually immoral, or covetous, or an idolater, or a drunkard, or a swindler, with such a one have no fellowship. 1 Corinthians 5 10-11 Be not deceived neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers shall inherit the kingdom of God, flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is outside his, but he who commits fornication sins against his own body. 1 Corinthians 6 11 18. To avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. 1 Corinthians 7 2. This I say then, 
walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the sinful nature. Galatians 5:16. Now the works of the sinful nature are plain, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, debauchery, those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5:19-21. He that sows to please his sinful nature shall reap corruption, but he who sows to please the spirit shall reap life everlasting. Galatians 6:8. Fornication and all uncleanness, or covetousness, let it not even be mentioned among you, as become saints. Ephesians 5 3. This you know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, nor an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Ephesians 5 5. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. Ephesians 5 11-13 Put to death whatever in you is earthy fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil immorality and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things the wrath of God comes on the children of disobedience. These are the ways you followed when you were living among them. But now you also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Colossians 3 5 8 This is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. 1 Thessalonians 4 3 Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Hebrews 13 4 For outside are the dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves and makes a lie. Revelation 22 14-15 For the lips of an adult rest drip honey. And her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end she is bitter as gall. Sharp as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lead straight to the grave. Proverbs 5, 3-5 I find more bitter than death. The woman who is a snare, whose heart is a trap, and whose hands are chains. The man who pleases God will escape her, but the sinner she will ensnare. Ecclesiastes 7, 26 Fools give in to lust and the wise resist it. Proverbs 2, 16-19 Keep away from the immoral woman, from the smooth tongue of the wayward wife. Do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. Proverbs 6 24-25 But a man who commits adultery lacks judgment. Whoever does so destroys himself. Blows and disgrace are his lot. And his shame will never be wiped away. Proverbs 6, 32-33 Anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Matthew 5, 27-28 Sex in the Bible 5 If your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Matthew 5, 29 For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall become one flesh. Ephesians 5, 30-32 do not covet thy neighbor's wife. Exodus 20, 17 Marriage is honorable among all and the bed undefiled, but fornicators and adulterers God will judge. Hebrews 13, 4 But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Matthew 5, 28 Each one is tempted when, by his own evil desire, he is dragged away and enticed. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin when it is full grown, gives birth to death. James 1 14-15 Do not offer the parts of your body to sin, as instruments of wickedness but rather offer yourselves to God, as those who have been brought from death to life, and offer the parts of your body to Him as instruments of righteousness. Romans 6 13 Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, 
sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires. Colossians 3 5. Let us behave decently, not in sexual immorality and debauchery. Rather clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Romans 13 13-14 You had ornaments of gold and silver and you always wore clothes of embroidered linen and silk. You ate bread made from the best flour and had honey and olive oil to eat. Your beauty was dazzling and you became a queen. You became famous in every nation for your perfect beauty, because I was the one who made you so lovely. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. But you took advantage of your beauty and fame to sleep with everyone who came along. You used some of your clothes to decorate your places of worship and just like a prostitute, you gave yourself to everyone. You took the silver and gold jewelry that I had given you, used it to make male images and committed adultery with them. Ezekiel 16 13-17 The Sovereign Lord said, You are doomed. Doomed. You did all that evil and then by the side of every road you built places to worship idols and practice prostitution. You dragged your beauty through the mud. You offered yourself to everyone who came by and you were more of a prostitute every day. You let your lustful neighbors, the Egyptians, go to bed with you and you used your prostitution to make me angry. Ezekiel 16 23-26 This is what the Sovereign Lord is saying, you have done all this like a shameless prostitute. On every street you build places to worship idols and practice prostitution. But you are not out for money like a common prostitute. You are like a woman who commits adultery with strangers instead of loving her husband. A prostitute is paid but you gave presents to all your lovers and bribed them to come from everywhere to sleep with you. You are a special kind of prostitute. No one forced you to become one. You didn't get paid, you paid them. Yes, you are different. Now then, Jerusalem, you whore. Hear what the Lord is saying. This is what the Sovereign Lord says, you stripped off your clothes and like a prostitute, you gave yourself to your lovers and to all your disgusting idols and you killed your children as sacrifices to idols. Because of this I will bring all your former lovers together the ones you liked and the ones you hated. I will bring them around you in a circle and then I will strip off your clothes and let them see you naked. I will condemn you for adultery and murder and in my anger and fury I will punish you with death. I will put you in their power and they will tear down the places where you engage in prostitution and worship idols. They will take away your clothes and jewels and leave you completely naked. They will stir up a crowd to stone you and they will cut you to pieces with their swords. They will burn your houses down and let crowds of women see your punishment. I will make you stop being a prostitute and make you stop giving gifts to your lovers. Ezekiel 16 30 41 A loving doe, a graceful deer may her breasts satisfy you always, may you ever be intoxicated with her love. Proverbs 5 19 Song of Songs Your breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle. 7.3. Your stature is like that of the palm and your breasts like clusters of fruit. 7.7. .7. My lover is to me a sachet of myrrh resting between my breasts. 113. I am a wall and my breasts are like towers. Thus I have become in his eyes like one bringing contentment. 8.10. Blow on my garden, that its fragrance may spread abroad. Let my lover come into his garden and taste its choice fruits. 4.16 And then there's this, my beloved put his hand by the hole of the door and my bowels were moved for him. 5.4 When Saul's servants told him what David had said, Saul replied, Say to David, the king wants no other price for the bride than a hundred Philistine foreskins, to take revenge on his enemies. 1 Samuel 18.20.30 then Zipporah took a flint and cut off her son's foreskin and threw it at Moses' feet and she said, You are indeed a bridegroom of blood to me. Exodus 4.25 Our father is old and there is no man around here to give us children as is the custom all over the earth. Let's get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him and preserve our family line through our father. Genesis 19.30
so they got their father to drink wine that night also and the younger daughter went in and slept with him. Again he was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up. So both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by their father. Genesis 1935. 1 Corinthians 7 colon 3 5, Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. Hebrews 13 colon 4, Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Genesis 2 24, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. 1 Corinthians 6 18, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. Sex in the Bible 6. Proverbs 5,18-19, Let thy fountain be blessed, and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. 1 Corinthians 7,2, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. 1 Thessalonians 4,3-5, for this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. Matthew 5:28. But I say unto you, that whosoever looked on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Colossians 3:5. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. 1 Corinthians 7 colon 5, Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. 1 Corinthians 6 colon 18 dash 20, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. Exodus 20:14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. 1 Corinthians 6.13 Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. 1 Corinthians 6.9-10 Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Proverbs 6.32, But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding, he that doth it destroyeth his own soul. 1 Timothy 1.10, For whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men's tealers, for liars, for perjured persons and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. Galatians 5.19-21, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Leviticus 20.13, If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. 1 Corinthians 7.1-2, Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman.